Hi guys, you're on VRAM24.com and today we're going to assemble the Xiaomi 12X. At the very beginning, we need to remove the car tray. For this, we take a special tool, insert it into the right hole and push out the car tray. Please note that the microphone hole is located next to the hole for ejecting the car tray. After that, we need to hit the surface of the back cover to about 65 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat. You can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes, we can move on to the assembly. To detach the back cover, we will use a plastic film. This is the protective film from the new display or plastic film from stationery store. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and run it along the length on the back cover to detach the cover. Ok, we open the back cover. On the cover we have the flashlight elements and the gasket. Then we unwrap the protective cover and check that there are no connectors underneath. After that we need to unscrew the screws at the top. We use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or hash tool. Remember that the screws are different, some are silver and others are black. So we recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly. Ok, we have unscrewed the screws and proceed to detach the core and the top. Please note that we first need to detach the small bracket in the middle that hides the connector. We remove the bracket and then we need to disconnect the connector to the flashlight. And only after that we can detach the core that hides the motherboard. Ok, we move on to disconnecting the battery connectors. This model has two connectors, so we disconnect them with a non-metal tool. We use tweezers with the ceramic tips. Well, we move on to unscrewing the screws in the bottom part. The screwdriver is the same, Philips 1.5mm, and the screws look the same, but it is still better to place them on a special surface in a certain order for assembly, just in case. Sometimes the screws can get stuck, we use tweezers to remove them. Then we find the right place to hook and detach the cover with a speaker. After that we disconnect the connectors on both boards and remove the interboard cable. Now we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the subboard. We disconnect the interboard cable connector, the connector for the fingerprint sensor. We disconnect the connectors of the coaxial cables and release the cables themselves from the clips, fixing them on the subboard. And we need to disconnect one more connector to the display. Now we can detach the subboard. Find the right place where we can hook and leave the subboard. Make sure that there is nothing in the way and remove the subboard. On the subboard we have the microphone, charging port and card connector on the back side. And in the display frame is the fingerprint sensor and a small antenna board. Ok, we can detach the connector and lift up and flip the board over. On the back side we have a coaxial cable connector that we need to disconnect and release the cable itself to detach the board.
Then we proceed to disconnect the rear camera connectors. We carefully disconnect the connectors and remove the assembly of three rear cameras. And we can detach the front camera too. After that, we disconnect the interboard cable connector and disconnect the three connectors of the three coaxial cables and release the cables themselves. Once that's done, we can carefully detach the motherboard. Gently rock the board back and forth and try to remove it. And we have removed the motherboard. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. We unwrap the brown tabs with the letters A and B. and wrap the transparent covering on the other side of the battery, which also holds the battery in place. And read the description on the white A tab. So as we can understand from the description, we have to unwrap both tabs and gently pull the white A tab upwards. As we can see, under the battery there is a transparent coating that protects the interboard cable. Ok, this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until next video.